Alisaw's city fire department has long wanted an aerial truck to supplement its three pumpers. But one event really drove home how desperately that piece of equipment was needed, according to Fire Chief Anthony Armstrong. Back in May, we had a downtown structure fire on an old business as a farmer's furniture. And we had to call in some aerial trucks. Uh, they brought in one from Fort Smith, Arkansas, one from Poto, Oklahoma, to help us out. And from that point on, we we seen the need for an aerial truck, and we've been working on it. And as you can see, we we purchased one. The new aerial truck is being fitted out with lights, city markings, and other equipment. But it came with its most important feature: a ladder that extends up to 75 feet. You can spray water from the ladder, of course, and use it for rescue purposes. Armstrong used a website called GovDeals.com to find the truck after first checking with new fire truck dealers. We spec'd out a new truck and it was going to cost us about $662,000. And with uh, the economy times we're in right now, uh, we couldn't see pressure in the city to spend that kind of money when they didn't really need to. Especially when the city of Salisaw could bid on a used aerial truck offered by the city of Claremore. We bid on it and got it for $25,000, which we think was a great deal. Claremore surplused its old ladder truck when it bought a new one. If they need it and they can use it, I'm, I'm all for that. This truck will officially go to work for the city of Salisaw as soon as the new fire hoses and nozzles arrive and it gets certified. And I think it'll last us a, a good 10 years where maybe we can be on our feet a little better situated in town, we can buy, purchase a new one. Anytime that there's an opportunity for different cities to help each other out by selling equipment or, you know, equipment that a larger city may not need anymore to, you know, be able to sell to a, a smaller city, it, I think it's a benefit for everybody. Chief Armstrong discovered the GovDeals.com website during the Oklahoma Municipal League meeting in Tulsa a few weeks ago. Claremore has offered surplus equipment on it for about six months now. The site lets municipalities all over the country post and bid on surplus items. Claremore Deputy City Manager Matt Mueller calls it kind of an eBay for government surplus equipment. Once we surplus our items through the City Council, we place it on this website and it, allow us, it allows us to have a much greater audience and a much greater uh, group of people who may be interested in purchasing it and therefore helps us because um, there's more competition and we usually end up making more revenue off of it than we would if we just had a, a traditional auction you know, locally. He adds, the site offers another benefit for Oklahoma communities struggling because state law requires they be funded through sales tax collections, which have plunged during the recession. The way we're funded in Oklahoma is very, very difficult for municipalities in the first place. And then again, the, the rural communities that are really kind of out there on their own uh, usually don't have a, a very significant sales tax base and therefore uh, usually really, really have to struggle to, to make their budgets uh, balance and, and to meet the financial needs of the community. So whether times are good or bad, Having the option to purchase another community's surplus equipment at deep discounts gives every municipality the ability to get great deals on what they need without breaking the budget. In Salisaw, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.